All right, we're in. First oh, things first, right, automatic. Okay. Get the light and the laser on and get these guys to stand in the corner and put their shields up. They're getting left behind. You have to have the bots on, unfortunately. You can't do it without them. If you're doing it solo. Enemy here, so I'm kicking the door. Get him staggered and then get him surrendered. Put your hands up. He's taking more shots than I was expecting, but that's fine. This first room's a nightmare, and that end door's open as well in the long. So I want to just quickly peek. Both sides, that door's closed. Focus the right one. And the long. Calm down. Taking a risk here. I need to get him surrendered get so he doesn't pull a gun on me, on me again. If it's a false surrender. Sometimes as soon as you turn your back to them, they'll do a false surrender, take the gun out. Sometimes they'll do it just as you're looking at them. There's a couple of shots on him, but this is a center fed room, so under no circumstances am I going in here solo. If I can deal with someone fast, maybe I would have, but no. You just block that off. Door stops are essential on this. There's no three man to watch your back. There's no two man. Check other arcs for you. No, uh, no four or five even as well. So got to cover everything as best I can by myself which is what the door traps come in real handy for. Now that nothing can come from behind me I can move on. The right side's also centre fed so I'm wanting to go to the left here. Straight away. Do a peek and check for trap. I'm also using no under door cam. That was a bit of a quick pie. All these entrances are going to be limited entrance rather than dynamic. So I'm going to be pieing them all off. That room that I just checked there, I had to go into that room in case someone came from out of one of these spaces that I hadn't checked yet. And then come back out again. When I've not got my gun up, I need to be hidden. That's the theme. Again, pie limited entrance. Quickly snap that corner and then check behind the door. Every door that I'm checking, I'm doing a saving step backwards as soon as I open it and gun up immediately, just in case. Again, clear. Got to do things real fast when you're on your own. There's a couple of times I'm not going to be able to look everywhere at the same time. It was risky. That's another pint. Quickly checking back on the front. I've got Audible here to my right. I'll check it again. And that's another guy surrendered. I've got open space to the back right there. That's open door Stay on the 180. Door. Well, that would be the zero, really, from where I came oh, from. So me. I'll arrest him. I've so got my back to it, which I don't transport. like. But I have to arrest him in case he pulls a gun. Get, Get on the ground now. Pie the space off. This is and get this guy arrested as well so he doesn't run in and open doors that I'm not ready Civilian for being open yet. This is talk. Great work, entry team. Keep it up. Snap in. Check the door. Double check that dead space there. Clear. Definitely tag time. You have to make sure that you tag everyone as well or you're not going to get the points for the S rank run. Saving step, flow round, snap in. That was a little bit slow. Buy this, snap the corner. So what's handy about getting in and out is I've got my A uh, is usually going low ready is bound to the home key. I've changed that to the shift key. It makes you walk a bit faster when you're low ready and I also hey. snap in City. I need to check my back the door was giving me cover Holy from the left that's why I'm always looking away from the door when I go in that time it was check right first this is at least I have a bit of cover so I've got going low ready on the on the shift left shift so that I can drop that regularly I also drop it when I'm going around the corner so I can step into the room quick and then get my gun straight up Usually I'd block this door off, I wouldn't attack this room for this side, but seeing as it's open already, I'm just going to pie it off. Once I've pied it off and seen most of the room, and decided I might as well attack it. So, hugging the right wall, I need to see as much as I can get this door closed. I can't turn my back to that right side, so I get on the left, 
have a look in and check my left again, run behind in the dead ground, get this door blocked back to the right space. I've still got this door in front of me, so I want to hug this as long as I can, straight in, turn back. It's not easy, sometimes you're going to get unlucky, we're just looking at yeah, reducing well, the amount of luck that you need as much as possible. Why are you arresting me? It's going cuffed and prepped for you back. Double check the corners. And to check this door for trap. No trap. Open and step back. Look clear here. We've got a couple of closed doors and the open door to the left. Buy that space. Nobody in the corridor. I mean, it looks like I've checked, I haven't checked that to my right in here as I came in. But you can see into that from outside. I should have double checked it anyway, just to be safe. A locked door regularly means a trap as well. It's like they want you to kick it open and kill yourself with the trap. So always check for a trap anyway, but if you do come across a locked door in this situation and you're doing the solo run, don't kick it. And just ask him for a bomb to go off in your face. I'm going to go upstairs now and block this door off. So that nothing can come down the stairs from me. I haven't found that that tends to happen a lot. Or at all. Most of the time, but I have found people up there before and on the stairs. Usually civvies. I don't want to run the risk of someone coming down behind me, an enemy, and ruining the run. Again, the door stops are essential. In order to get the S rank, you've got to be non-lethal, so I've got my TAC 700 paintball gun on. And that's a little arm that's there. I've got physical cover that I can duck behind if someone had peeked out at me. So I've used a right, flashbang to clear the back space. of that room on the 90. Everything here is clear. I've got a closed door. I'm just going to arrest this guy so he doesn't run past me and open the door before Please, I'm ready for I just it. Want to go home. Same as before. Cuffed and prep for you back. Quick ammo check. I'm fine. With this paintball gun, you have to do a reload at the start of the round. For some reason, you, you don't get a full hopper. Trap. Disarming trap. Because I don't have the under door cam, I have no choice but to peek the doors every time. This room's a nightmare, there's loads of dead space behind these boxes. Let's see what I can snap into this. Quick check behind the door and then back on my own front. Another closed door. Now I've been through this door already. Because I've cleared that room. When you see one of your own doorstops, you can get them back, but you seem to only be able to get them back a certain amount of times. And eventually you will run out of doorstops. They're incredibly handy though. So I want to just pick them back up once I'm done with them. Once I've cleared all the space and I'm going back on myself, I can just get rid of the trap. I've been down there and the other door that's down there on the left is blocked from the beginning of the match. That was where we started. I'm now ready to tackle this room so it doesn't need the door block. No trap. Open. Save and step back. Peek into the room. Open door left. Not to fire around the hall. Open door. And this is what's easier while you're non-lethal. Is that you can just spray. And you kind of have to. Check this. Enemy. Close the door. Get out of the way. Fall back, snap ambush. Because the door's closed, I'm getting a little bit extra time. Now I see the doors open, I'm ready. More shots after he went down, so there must be another one in that room. I'm going to hold for a second, continue this ambush. Wait for being pushed again. The problem with sitting here this long is the guys have got surrendered there, maybe back up. Could possibly pulled a pistol out, so. And stick a flash before I re-peek this. I had physical cover, so if the guy had to shot out that door while I was holding the flashbang, I can just step back and cover. And here's this one getting up. He could have been pulling a gun on me there, but he was stunned for the flashbang still, so he got up, staggered instead. And flashbang was a good choice. Suspect secured. 
I rarely have this many of any enemies at all in this corridor, so this was a bit of a surprise. And this gun I'll deal with for around the corner because I know I'm still not clear to my in front. Down that corridor. And I'll deal with his gun later as well. And get rid of my doorstop. And I'll deal with this room so as I can get out of this corridor. I don't like it in here. And too many doors. Step back. Flash in. And I'll do a dynamic entry. Get I know there's a guy in here. So it was worth the flash. I know that because of the amount of noise that was made earlier, it's likely Relax. that someone, if they were in that room, would have jumped out of it by now. Get your hands off so I can me. deal with this guy first instead. We got a suspect here ready for trailers. Then focus on the door. Roger that. Trailers on route. I was increasing the risk dealing with the gun straight away, but I also don't want to have missed anything at the end. This door's locked, so I decide I'll leave it locked. It's like having a door trap on it. Check this space. Open space. It's looking into that doorway. And we're clear for the moment, so now I can check this. Very rare, but I've had enemies in here before. This is worth checking. You don't want someone behind you. Also, you can see into that room through a one-way mirror. So they don't see that in there. Just a quick check to see how many flashbangs I've got left, because I've used a couple there. Civilian is Tag this body. Talk to entry team. And pie this Roger. space off. Trailers inbound. Another open door at the end. I don't like that. I'm going to get it closed and block it off. This next room isn't easy to deal with. Again, the same as usual. Save and step. There's an enemy on the other side. Kick it. Save and step. Yep. Wait for the reload and then I get the flash in. Hands up! Straight in and catch him while he's stunned. Off. He didn't look like he was stunned. I pied the room off in the correct space. It was just fast. You need to relax. That's not an easy room to clear. Oh fuck me. So you'll see from where the bullet holes are. If I hadn't have done my save, saving step backwards, he'd have shot me through the wall there. He'd have got me because I was in in the doorway. You don't want to be stood in the doorways. You're going to take random damage. You don't get full points. You can't get the S rank if you have taken any shots at all. Not ideal. It's time to deal with this door before I forget about it. It's locked so there's a good chance of a trap. But there's no trap. Open step back. Pie round this. Snap in. Didn't check behind the door there, I should really have. Only one or two times I've ever seen them behind the doors. Right, now it's time to deal with this guy's gun. Just dropped it back here. Right in Put front of another up. door, I don't quite like that. No trap. Step again away from the door. Out towards the wall, just in case they start shooting straight at the door as soon as you... Open it. I was getting stuck on the little bit of um, baggage carrier there, so I've had to go round that and buy it from the outside. That's fine. I don't mind that. I would rather that than constantly having my gun put up in my face and I can't fire it if someone was in there. Come right out. That's where I've been already, which I know because for sure I had the door stop there and I can retrieve this door stop as well. That leads back to the start of the level. Deploy We're now com light. nearly completely clear on the ground floor. Plenty of ammo life still. Double check this last space. And we're good. Another locked door. Possible trap. Even if the door is not locked, there's still a possibility for a trap. I just tend to find that it is. It's more likely if the door is locked. It's like they want you it's to kick the door in. And then set the trap off. I do have a taser on me as well. Although I'll not be using it. Unless for whatever reason this runs out of ammo. 
This is a bit of an awkward room as well. Quickly check behind the door and then walk into the space that you've just cleared. This is similar to clearing with a team, except from that you've got to check all the spaces that your teammates would also be checking, which is why we're doing limited penetration rather than dynamic entries. Fall back and pie. Clear and check the door. We're good. Right, so that is the ground floor complete. Boy, now it's I just upstairs. Upstairs as well as a nightmare. Usually. I've done a run already. It was 26 minutes, significantly quicker. I wasn't trying to speed run, but it's also nowhere near a perfect score. It was with lethal weapons, so you're definitely Boy, faster with the lethal weapons. Especially being able to shoot or blow doors open without worrying about the traps as well. The breaching shotgun's real handy for getting doors open fast from a distance that you're safe at. But if you're going to set the trap off, you lose score. Put your hands up. Sivvy. Hands up now. Jump no, down. No. I want to see. Put your hands up. That was pretty bad, so that's a, possibly a lucky mistake from earlier on. Calm down. And I never double checked that space if that had been an enemy. And they'd be knackered there. So, Unless she's I'm running since. Nice so I should have checked that right. Again, check for enemy, check for trap. His enemy feet. He's not quite seen me yet. Peeking Hands through up. the door. Drop the weapon. Hands up. Because my angle was good. That's the slow walk. So slow walking, I've got bound to the space bar. Stay where you are. Also very Great. handy. If you step into away. the space too quickly, you open so yourself up too fast. He'd have seen me. Talk if I stepped right in front of him. Also, the only human, Trailers you can only react coming. so fast if you stepped in too much and you see two enemies at the same time. You can't deal with them both with one gun. So the slow walk's real Stay good right for... Up. Being able to clear these rooms consistently for your pie work. Cutting the pies, pieing round doors, corners. Solo is difficult. Even with a team is difficult. In this game. Hands Checking up, my space, I could see more to the right than I could to the left, so I moved into the right with my back to cover, then pied round the left, then checked to my back again once I'm out of cover on the right. And check this corner before I arrest that guy. I don't want another enemy surprising me from behind while I'm stuck in an animation. This is protocol. If you want to see speed runs with the lethal the weapons them, not and you're and not bothered about the score. Talk to entry team. Copy. On single man clearances, they're a lot of fun. Fire a request for that into the comments and I'll get on it. If you want to see more speed run, eh, sorry, S runs instead, however, let me know about that too. Another civvy in here. I'm actually quite happy just to ignore that civvy. She's not going to cause me any problems. And block this door off. That will be the last area I deal with for the mission. We've got a closed door here. She's probably went through that. It's possible she's ran around the rest of the corridor. Again, she's not an immediate threat. I'm under halfway on ammo now here, so I want to get that reloaded for sure. You get 200 rounds per hopper. 200 paintballs. They're filled with the CS pellets. Basically like automatic pepper spray gun. Enemy, got him kicked. Please, Step up. back to safety. I'm going to flash that as well because there's so much open space. Back in on the pie. And there, that's the civvy. She's fine. She can walk about if she likes. Three pie. Clear the space. Now I need to commit. Check the left. Shut up. I need the quiet so I can listen for movement. 
And in regard to which order I deal with these guys in, I do it so that I'm not turning my back to either of them. Calm down. I have to be risky here. I've checked to my left. I can see not most of it. To you. But I can't afford these. Hands up. I'm not standing up like that. Hands up now. Drop your knee. And pulling a gun on me. Got this or get me chasing them into dumb places before I'm ready for it. So, so I've had to take a risk and turn my back on some of the space here. I checked it briefly. I've still got plenty of ammo. That door's locked. So that's fine. It's as if it's got a door stop in it. I can leave it. Now let's deal with this room. I see most of it's clear. Police, hands up. Very quick in. Worried about this my back. Protocol. I feel much safer now that I'm in the room. Get, Get in the room. Oh try and limit God, your angles that you're you in danger from as much as possible, as quick as you can. I had to stay around there longer than I wanted to and arrest those guys so they didn't get back up and pull guns on me. Otherwise, I'd have been in here much sooner. Pie. Check. Get on the ground now. Rather than going round, I'll just close that door so as I can see behind it. Rather than showing my back to that space that I've not cleared yet. Pie this off from a distance until I'm close. Check the back. Clear. Very quick checks there. All I could have done better there really was after I checked the right step back out the room. Then in and check the left. Just in case somebody started firing at me, I could have backed off. I would have backed out the way automatically. I don't see the trap here. For some reason, I decide to peek it again rather than just opening it and then I notice the trap. Very lucky there, I almost just opened the door. Disarming trap. It's clear I should have seen it the first time. But for whatever reason I didn't step back. And pie. Just in case shots immediately came through the door, I'm going to keep talking about now. that. Every time I do the move. That saves me a bunch are. on other runs. Hey, asshole, not me. That I've done on all the maps, especially on raids where they're more aggressive. Back. Just get that open so as I know it's open. Light, out. And cleared. Now it's the last space. And this space is a nightmare. For a couple of reasons. Reload before I tackle it. This is going to be the last area that I deal with. Might as well be at full ammo anyway. I'm not saving it for anything get else. On the ground now. Shout at the door. Rather than open it, because why not let them know you're here? Buy in, I've got open door left. That's my immediate attention needs to be on that. Check behind that door by closing it. I don't have a door stopper anymore. That's me out of door stops now. Like I say, you only get to reclaim them a couple of times. Not closed doors everywhere else, but I have to leave them alone and deal with the open space first. And that's the rule. And I have to pay this. And then I have to get in because my back's too exposed out here. There's too many closed doors. Put your hands up. That's me made noise. I have to get in. Check my left by closing the door. Rather than turning my back to the rest of the room and showing what's on the right. I'll wait for a second in case anyone pushes me. No one has. I don't hear movement. I'm going to get a flash in the end. And then I'm going to clear to the right with my gun. Fuck. That was a bit clear by fire there. Means that I'm firing my weapon to clear the space. Relax. Can get away with that with the non-lethal weapons. Don't talk to me, loser. Because shooting the civvies doesn't matter if it's CS pellets. Then I've checked that back room where the person should have still been Stay put. stunned from the flashbang. So, um, if there was someone there. Roger, entry team. Great work. Keep going. Definitely nobody behind the curtains. Double check this door for a trap. I think that I've maybe got all the traps by now. But I have also gotten distracted and miscounted that before, so checking every time anyway. 
it's a good practice to have. Deploying chem light. Right, this area is clear. Next, I prefer to attack from the right. Locked though. Rule is treat it like it's blocked. They can't attack me from behind now. I've got all the time in the world to deal with this space. I'm not going to open that there because there's a wall immediately to the right. Save and step back so as, as much of me is in cover as possible. Into the room, there's a wall on the left, so less likely there's someone there. And I check my right instead. Close the door. That's a civvy, she can't pull a gun on me. She's one of the main targets that I have to rescue. So I ignore her for just now, check this space. Close the door, I'll leave that for a second. We've got this under control. You look like the guys in the movies. Nice guns. Civilian cuffed and prep for evac. Talk reporting. Right, it's right Roger near the end now. Trailers incoming. Proceed with caution. Check for trap. I don't like this because I'm having to stand nearly right in front of the door. I'm just going to close that off. I'm just going to fall back. From behind cover. I blow the door open. If he squirts out of there I can just duck behind the cover fast and swap back to my gun. So I've got time to throw a flashbang, get in, and deal Police. with the enemies. Lucky I did, because he was here. Stay he doesn't still. seem to have had a gun. And that's the mission complete. Now, at this stage, if you've collected and tagged everything, gotten every trap, reported every suspect in the civvy, then the game will just end. You don't need to go looking around. I unfortunately have missed something. So if you know that you've done an S rank run, don't press page up. At this stage, and go, go around everyone, see if you've missed a weapon that's on the ground that you haven't secured as evidence. If there's a trap on a door you haven't walked through, maybe you put a door stopper on it yourself. Just make sure that you've tagged everyone and check my objectives here and they are all complete. And there's nothing to suggest that I've failed one of them. That'll also cause you to have to press page up. You could have done everything else but you failed one of the objectives. So it makes you vote to end the mission. Now the only reason it's voting me to end the mission is because I've I've not tagged something. And it's a guy down the stairs who's one of the bodies or dead bodies that I need to tag. But I'm not aware of that yet. It's because I went round that room differently than I would usually go round that room. So when I should have been tagging him I thought I'd completed it. That's just because of how the game the played out this time. But unresponsive. Copy that. So that's what happens when you've got everything, it just ends. And then it'll award you your scores. Time doesn't seem to be a factor, so take your time, unless you're trying for a speedrun specifically. I've got 32 minutes there, I'm going to see if I can get that quicker. And that's the S. You have to have taken no damage as well. Not easy. Remember, keep yourself concealed from the enemy until you've got eyes on, then engage, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks.